want to do the introduction of, uh, of Sonship. Deuteronomy 21, verses 15 to 17. I'm doing uh, becoming a son. If you're there, Peter, unaweza tusomea kwanzia mustari wa kumina tano, hadi wa kumina saba. Deuteronomy ni kumbu kumbu ratorati. If a man has two wives, mm -hmm. one loved and the other unloved, and they have born him children with the loved and the unloved. And if the firstborn son is of her who is unloved, then it shall be on the day he bequeaths and his possessions to his sons, that he must not bestow firstborn status on the son of the loved wife, in preference of, to the son of the unloved. The true firstborn, verse 17, but he shall acknowledge the son of the unloved wife as the firstborn by giving, giving him a double portion of all that he has, for he is the beginning of his strength, the right of the firstborn is his. Um, there are something that I want us to note and quote on that verse. And uh, the Bible was giving an instruction of the children of Israel. Ikiwa mtu angekuwa na bibi wawili, na wate wawili wapate watoto. Na pengine awe kwa ule mtoto wapili ndiyo alio pendwa. Mandiko ilikuwe na sema, ama sheria Israel ilikuwe na sema, the first son or the first child had, was the one that has qualified to inherit the father. Ndi mana, um, Moses anandika haya manelo wa sema, if a man has two wives, one loved and the other unloved, and they were born with children, both the, the, the loved and the unloved, if the firstborn is the one who is unloved, then it shall be of, uh, the bequeath of the possession to be, to be his son. So, ilikuwa aninelezewa kuwa, ikiwa yule alia zaliwa wakwanza, na ndiyo firstborn, na hapendwi, lakini kuna yule wapili ya nao pendwa, automatically alia wakwanza, ata kama hapendwi, the birthright was, the possession, the inheritance was uh, transferred to that person. In other words, the inheritance goes to the son who qualifies, but not the son who is loved. I want you to note that because there are, there are a few things that I'm going, to, I'm going to intermarry with another verses today. And I want you to note that the birthright, ama uzaliwa wa kwanza, ama the sonship, haiendi kwa yule ambaye anapendwa, lakini inaenda kwa yule ambaye ako qualified. And the second thing, according to that verse, the firstborn was the person or the son who was entitled to inherit the father. Na ukiangalia katika Biblia kumfano the, 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 the story of Esau and Jacob. Esau was the first son of Jacob, of Isaac. But the Bible says the father loved Esau so much because he was eating from him. Lakini ilipo fika siku ya kupeana the, the birthright, the son Esau was not qualified to take the birthright because 20 years ago, Asha peana the birthright to his brother Jacob. So he had disqualified himself from receiving the birthright from the brother. Therefore, the birthright went to the second son who was Jacob. And uh, the mind of the father Isaac, the birthright was supposed to go to Esau. Are you getting something? Mashika kitu. So the, the, the bad right does not go to the loved, but goes to the qualified. You can have two people. Let me explain that as Peter Unapu from second uh, second uh, Kings chapter two. You can have two sons and you love them. You love the second son so much. Or maybe no, what a two son. You may have two employers in your company, and you love the the employer B. But the employer B does not qualify to land the company. But the employer A.
qualifies everything academically, experience, and everything he qualifies. Whom, whom are you supposed to give the responsibility of the company? Is it the, the employer B that does not qualify but you love, or uh, employer A that qualifies but you don't love? Ninani? Right. So that is how it happened biblical wise. And it is how you can qualify to become a son. Second Kings chapter 2 verses 9 to 15. And so it was. Mm -hmm. I wanted yeah. to go slowly because we are not having any other reading of the Bible. That is where the, the teachings and the word is coming from. So follow Peter pole pole and Aposoma and Peter to Peleke pole pole. All right, go ahead. And so it was. When they had crossed over, that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I may do for you before I am taken away from you. Elisha said, Please let a double portion of the Spirit be upon me. Verse 10. So he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if they see me, if you see me when I am taken from you, it, it shall be so for you, but if not, it shall not be so. Then it happened, mm -hmm. as they continued and on and talked, mm -hmm. that, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared mm -hmm. with horses of fire mm -hmm. and separated the two of them. Mm -hmm. And Elijah went up by a wheeling wind mm -hmm. into heaven. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, and Elisha saw it, and he cried out, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. Mm -hmm. So he saw him no more, mm -hmm. and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah mm -hmm. that had fallen from him, mm -hmm. and went back and stood by the tank of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. Then he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him mm -hmm. and stuck the water and said, We are the Lord God of Elijah. And when he saw and st had struck the water, it was divided this way and that. And Elisha crossed over. Verse mm -hmm. 15. Now when the sons of prophets who were from Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. Mm -hmm. And they came to meet him and bowed on the ground before mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. There is what a wonderful experience. I want you when you go home, just read again that package because it has so much that I want us to learn today. You read that story, Unapata Kua, Eraisha, Amekana, Eria, Kumeaka Kumina Moja. And now, Elisha is, is about to be taken and Elisha is about to take the mantle and responsibility that he has learned in the time that he was in the, with Elisha. But the, uh, the one to report to Kisoma, Tulijifuza kulikuwa na kategori ya watu watatu, there was the voice of Elisha there was the voice of Elisha and there was the voice of the prophets. Three people. Na, tukimalizia pale mustari wa kuminatano, unona kuwa the same same prophets ambayo walikuwa wana, wana, wana mock Elisha wakimambia the God is about to take Elisha and they were telling him you are going to be left Alone, you've given your time, your money, your resources to follow this man. He's about to go. In verses 15, the Bible says, When he took the mantle, when he took the responsibility and crossed over on the other side of the river Jordan, the same same people that were mocking Elisha are now the same same people that are bowing to Elisha. Are you getting something? And I've come to speak to somebody this morning. There are people that mocked you. Come on. If you continue looking me with that religious eyes, 
Nauliza mhubiri nihubiri kama simama. There are people that mocked you. Na wakasema there is nothing good that can come out of you. Na wakasema look at her, he is a out old, old school, he is outdated. Hajui kuvaa. Ah, amechelewa na wakati na majira. But I've come to tell you this morning as you receive the mantle this morning the same same people that mock you the same same people that speak ill about you are the same same people that are going to stand before you and bow to you That amen is for somebody who didn't hear what I said The bigger amen the bigger you receive Listen to 15. I, I love this verse before I give you the seven factors that shapes Elisha. Uh, number 15, I say, now. Now. Because when, when something new happens, there must be a new beginning. This is not the same Elisha who was crossing over the other side. Because he was crossing on the other side as the servant. But the Bible says when he was coming back from the side of Jordan, he didn't come like a servant, but he came like a, like a son. The son has the inheritance. The son carries the same DNA with the father. The son carries the same anointing with the father. The, same, the son can do what the father does. He was the servant when he was going on the other side. But the Bible Bible says when he was coming on the other side he was full of the anointing and the power and the glory of God was upon him and he was not the same person because there is an impactation that is flowing in the house huh? you're going you're gonna to tap it, you're going to take it you're going to leave it, it's up to you verse 15 says now when the sons of prophets who were from Jericho saw him, they said the spirits of Elijah now, before they pronounce huh, told me that the spirit of Elijah is upon him, they were mocking at him and saying sasa who are you? Huh? anaendaga tu kila siku kuosha church kila siku wako church fellowship kila siku wako church, anaenda tu pale ata hana anga kazi ya kufanya but when the spirit of the Lord was upon her, the Bible says, the same same prophet, they came and met him, and they bowed on the ground. Wanao kudhalau siku moja wata kusalimia. Tony ebuka hapa. Patia mtu mingina kena yo kamera. Tapokea tu wata ukiwa hapa. Yeah, and go and pick a picture. Kiss get a picture. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Two things about a writer. Mama, mama, we That I, I want you to note them down if you are writing. Two things. A writer had two things that driven him to become a son, Peter. One was humility. Sema unye nye kebu. Nyenye ke ya mbele za bwana He said to Elisha Please give me the double portion of the anointing Mama Merin alikuwa na haki ya kuchukua umiliki kwa sababu ameacha mali zake kazi na kila kitu akafuata Elisha kwa hivyo alikuwa na haki ya kupokea Lakini maandiko nasema kwa sababu unyenyekevu alimwambia tafadhali nipe the double portion of the anointing that was humility number 2 ambition sema ambition he did hakukaa tu akasema i need anointing huh? kama mtu anakuuliza unataka nini ile tu utataka tu unataka pesa ngapi ile tu unaona learn to negotiate Ha? Mutu wana kunenda kazini unataka kufanyo kufanyo interview unataka kupeo kazi ha? Na mimi sitaki kulea watoto ambaye hawajuku kuna go shit Ukienda kazini ulizo ungetaka tukulipea mshara ngapi Ida tu munaona Ida tu munaona ni ngapi Hakuna nga figa inaito ida tu munaona But Elisha had ambition Arisema the double portion of your spirit Double portion of the spirit So 
Elijah had two things. He had humility and a and when you have ability and a vision, zinapo kutana pamoja, zinaza kitu kinaito impartation. Sema impartation. And I want to mention seven factors that shaped a writer, and then I'm going to finish. Seven factors. Na hii itawasaidia sana kurisivu, kutoka kwangu, na kwa mutu mingine yote. Itu mitaba. You can, you can fail to do any other thing, but if you follow those seven factors, Impartation will automatically come into your life. The blessing that I carry, you will carry double. Kama mimi nimewekwa hapa. By the way, haupokeangi kiwango sawa na chaule mutu wakonacho. Peter, utapokea kwangu kire nikonacho, utapokea zaidi ya vino nilivyo. Eh, double portion. Because you, you have your own capacity and you have what I carry. And these are the seven factors that shaped Eraisha. Mambo masaba, ya liyo mnyorosha Eraisha akapokea. Jambu na kwanza. A righteous petition. Petition ni vile tutasamadi kwa kiswaidi. Ha, ni kama vile alivyo ufanya kesi na ma, ma, maelewano ama mongeo na yama kesi na yeye. Hmm? Maombi na yeye. Vile alivyo ufanya maombi na yeye. A righteous petition. Alisema, give me a double portion of your spirit. Elisha did not ask for money. Elisha did not ask for in a physical inheritance. Elisha did not ask for something that we can see. Actually, when we talk about the spirit, spirit is something that is unseen, the unseen part of it. I've worked with many people in, in the time that I've been in the ministry with. Wengine niliwalea kiroho na wengine niliwainua katika huduma. Lakini anapofika kiwango fulani anasahau anapokea kitu fulani ambacho ni chadhamana kuliko hicho anaanza kuniambia sasa unajua pasi nastahili ujue hata mimi na kuranga huh? ile sande unajua huyuko ile sadaka na tithe ni yangu si mimi ndio meacha ora negotiating hata watu wa vyombo pita si unawajua Anasema mimi ni kuja kucheza kinanda razima nilipo 1000. Si ndio Peter? Si ndio watafutanga wanatuambia and the token. Huh? But I want to tell you one thing. You can receive a token na maandiko yanasema kile unachopokea dunia hii ukishalipo umeshapokea uh, reward reward. Sio hakuna reward nyingine ambayo unagojea. But Elisha had a petition ambayo alisema give me the double portion your spirit. The spirit was unseen part. He asked for a righteous spirit. And what is the spirit? Spirit ilikuwa ina represent mambo matatu. Number one, ilikuwa ina represent the capacity. The capacity, the ability to receive and to contain. If you take a if you take a whole bottle of five liters of water and put it in this grass. E grass it a contain kiasi kigani? Ah, usine, usine pe tuna tu 50, sema tu it a contain namna gani? Ikiwa hii na hii, ikiwa imeja hapa, umuagidia maji five liters, yote. E grass it a baki tu contain the size of the grass. So, you ingina yote haita contain. So, Eraisha, Eraisha, alimambia Eraisha, I need your capacity, the ability to receive and to contain. Not just the spirit, but I need what is in you. Because I know I can contain, because I have been with you, and I know you. Eleven years was not a real time. Number two, according to the spirit, the passion, Passion means the motivation and the dry force. Kile kitu ambato kime kusukuma, that motivation, the dry force, ambayo ime kufanya, ukakuwa na mimi, ukafanya miujiza, that which is in you, it is what I desire. Because I can give you the money, I can give you one million uh, uh, tony, but one million squeezy within a one week, ukiamua tukachini kukula yo one million. 
one week maisha zamani ile siku zetu za zamani ndio ungepewa 1 million upike nao githeri hivi lakini siku hizi 1 million ukikalia tu chini kidogo 1 week hata sio 1 week imeisha enda ken kipsi ndio ken kipsi ukunywe kahawa ni shilingi 2500 kale kakikombe kanaitangwa kale kanaitangwa kawivu na kakombe kingine ukipiga zip mbili zi, the african zip unajua kuna zile african zip kameisha sio british zip african ile ya mkamba kichapa tu ya kwanza iko nusu ya pili 2500 so ukiamua kwenda ukua serious kula lunch uh, 25000 30000 zinaisha so a million is inaisha tu Naisha. Ndio naambia katembea kuona kwingi kuishi kui, kuona kuishi kwingi kuona <laughs> sio kuona kwingi. <laughs> ah, receive roho ya kutokuwa katika kifungo. You know we are free. Sema mimi niko huru. I'm no longer a slave of fear. I am child of God I swear to fear I am a child of God So Elijah asked for three when he talks about the spirit he was talking about the three things the capacity the passion and the grace the grace is God enablement hmm? ule uwezo wa Mungu and the favor of God he knew i am about you are about to go you are about to go your assignment is over but what i need from you it is the grace that will enable me that will favor me to continue fulfilling the assignment and the call and the mandate that you started praise the lord may you receive the spirit that i carry this morning wacha ile roho nilio nayo kaibebe asubuhi leo that you may have the capacity the passion and the grace to do greater works the factor number two, the factor number one, tumesema it was a righteous petition ambaye alimwambia give me the double portion of your spirit the second factor was a righteous pursuit He pursued and he said If you see me go that was the assignment If you see me go Kuna 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 watu walienda interview mahali Na interview was very simple but very difficult Sikuizi watu interview hata waangaliwi kartasi no no rin Kila mtu amequalify kila mtu akona phd akona masters akona experience squeeze yawangali hizo people are not are no longer the companies are no longer looking the the the, the academic qualification they are looking for a character because almost everyone who is applying that job has whatever it takes and one one company wakaitana interview now that interview was very simple walipoingia mtu wa kwanza alipoingia kwa gate alipata geti kwa wazi imefunguliwa kuja kama ameingia akapata the next level maji na imefunguliwa kwa tapi na mwagika akapita akafika pale kwa reception akapata tanga imeangushwa tu kwa reception akaipita akaenda akapata uh, secretary pale kwa uh, reception akamuliza uh, mahali kuna fanyao interview ni wapi akaelekezwa akaambua ingia hivi boardroom number 7 inafanywa hapo na unagojewa tayari akafika alipofika pale akaitisha document zake akaambua we will get back to you akatoka akaenda akafikiria pengine document zake zimefanya kapi kapita the second person alipofika kwa gate akapata gate imefunguliwa akakumbuka vile wakiwacha gate kwa nyumbani baba alikuwa na wagonga akaweka document zake chini akafunga gate Kusonga songa kidogo akapata maji kimwagika akakumbuka kwa nyandarwa 
maji kuipata ni shida akaenda kwa tap akafunga kukaribia kwa deception akapata panga akaona hii panga baba alikuwa anapata tunaacha panga nje anasema ni silaha mnaekea mwizi akaichukua akaipeleka deception alipofika kwa boardroom akaambiwa amepita interview because they were looking for people who are responsible na walikuwa wamefanya hizo vitu kwa pale kwa boardroom wameweka CCTV na inamulika every edge kwa hivyo wanaona wa kwanza alikuja straight queen akijiangalia kama kwa sawa kifanya makeup ah ah sijui kwa nini lazima mtu apige selfie kila siku lazima ya na ni mke wa rot mwenye alijiangalia hivi Mwingine naye akapita amechelewa sana. Anaenda akiangalia kama nguo yake iko smart, mpaka anafika kwa kiyo ya reception anataka kujiangalia, akiangalia kama zinaitaka waje hizi hizi extensions za nyuri. Eh? Yeah? What do you call them? Eyebrows. <laughs> akafika interview akanguka. But the guy who was not just as clean and smart like any other person akaingia kwa kampuni they are looking wanaangalia tu kwa CCTV wanaona wa kwanza amepita wa pili wa tatu amekuja amefunga gate amepoesha ame, ame maji amezima tap amechukua panga naenda nao kupatiana deception they said this is the people we want in this company because all of them they were qualified but they were looking for someone with a character so the assignment ya Elisha to Elisha anamwambia if you see me go then you will receive the invitation you have worked with me for 11 years but i have a simple assignment for you tony in it the wakati ule utaona nikitoliwa eh unajua kiswahili eh ukitoliwa wakati ule utaona nikiwa rapture that time when you see me go you will receive the invitation and that's why you see the prophets wanamwambia ah your servant anaenda wanajua anamwambia i know he's going elijah anamwambia remain here ninaenda bethel anamwambia ah remain here ninaenda jericho anamwambia pana i will go with you because the assignment was if you see me go then you receive the invitation elijah's pursuit two things he had to keep focus on a rider you do assignment ukiona nikienda sasa ndio utachukua kwa hivyo ni lazima huyu mtu nikae na yeye mundu kwa mundu eh mundu kwa mundu nikimwachilia kidogo aende i miss the visitation na kuna watu wengi sana wame miss the visitation wame miss the impact in in in, uh, in the time of the impartation because you want to extend the rain leo uko na kimbilia rain number one. lakini tomorrow unaona watu wote wako rain number two. una decide to change unaenda number two. but your blessings is not in rain number two. it is in rain number one. you miss the focus pengine Mungu alikutata sososo ministry na kuhakikisha hakuna mtu atakupenda hapa na Mungu huwa anakosi hivyo. Si Mungu alikosi moyo wa Firauni ukuwe mgumu. Na hakuwa moyo mgumu. Actually if you read the Bible inasema the, the father the grandfather mwenye raise Moses alikuwa na moyo mgumu kuliko nao the son. He made his heart ikakuwa ngumu ili ishara na miujiza zikoonekane jangwani. Na kuna watu wamepoteza wame wakati wao wamepoteza the impartation no lini unakuja hapa sozo ministry Mungu anamjua your impartation is in sozo ministry lakini ndio you stay on your focus anahakikisha wale watu wamekuzunguka wote hawatakupenda na sasa kawaida ya binadamu unapenda mahali ambapo una unapreciatiwa mahali ambapo unalikogonizewa kama dada mmoja alikuwa anaongoza prison worship zamani tulikuwa vijana alikuwa anahakikisha anakuja kazi, kazi kanisani anajua prison worship inaishanga 11:40 so atakuja 11:20 ndio hiyo 20 minutes wajikwakwe wamchanganyikiwe dakika za kwanza hiyo 20 minutes aitwe na heshima so anahakikisha anakuja na zile kongkong zito kongkong za ka 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 na prison worship alikuwa anakaa hapa mbele kila mtu ana notice ah? amefika 
Sasa naye huko amechanganyikiwa. Ni vizuri pita unapea hata watu wengine responsibility. Ndio ile siku wa uyuko watakuwa me, wamepata independence. Anakaa pale. Sasa akikaa pale mpaka mwenye anaongoza ana anamwambia. Sasa ni anahakikisha tu anakuja tu kipanguza jasho. Hata haombi anakuja anachukua microphone anaanza kuimba. But as, as I talk with you now, she no longer sing. Alipata maneno, alienda akapata mimba, akakuwa kanisani. Akakaa maisha ikamchapa, akaolewa na kimzee kingine kilikuwa na bibi waine, alikuwa watano. Akaongezea watoto wengine wawili. Akakaa, nikasikia tena miolewa na jama mwingine alikuwa na jaza makanga pare kwa stage. Sasa amekuwa desperate, ametoka sasa ame, ni makanga, wale wa makanga wakanga wana ujuagi wana waga lini. Leo hii nasikia alihamia alienda juu ya farm anakaa huko msituni. Kutoka kwa focus. Eraja focused alikaa katika focus yake because the assignment was if you see me go then you will receive. Number two, he had recognized the Eraja's elevation. Alikuwa me recognize anajua huyu mtu atakapokuwa kinuniwa basi ndivyo nitakuwa nikipokea. So my assignment it is to stay closer. It is to be with him even if there are voices of the prophets. Ambazo zinaniambia hapana, the servant is about to go. I will stay focused because I have known, I have understood, I have recognized my servant elevation. And the very time atakuwa kinuniwa, that is my beginning. And the writer focus on that. And I want to tell you that every reader interpretation in a kuanga consistency. Sio siku moja ati nitakuja hapa niwambie pokeeni. Unaza kuipokea pole pole. Na ninaona wale watu wamekaa chini ya mtu fulani kwa miaka fulani. Unapataka kuhubiri anahubiri kama yeye. Si mwa isikia hawa kama hao. Na nimiona wale watu wamereiziwa na nganga wa neno. Ukisikia baki ubiri, aundo, hata uondolewe picha utafikiria linganga na ubiri. Hata kuimba. Mahana wameaza kuikunywa pole pole. Ha? Wanaikunywa pole pole because every reader, there is a, the, the transit that is continuous. Nikito mbato kilendaga pole pole. I remember very well when I was starting the church. There were so many responsibilities nikuwa nafanya. We used to come with my wife. Yeye ya kipanguza church na mimi napanga viti nikimaliza kupanga viti na sete vyombo nikimaliza kusete vyombo ninaongoza praise and worship nikimaliza kuongoza praise and worship ninahubiri nilikuwa ni mama Merin zile siku tukianza maana hakukuwa na watu wengi waliokuwa wameanza ku, kupokea kuanza ku, ku take the impartation pole pole but today i'm happy because i have people that do what i was doing because a reader when i step to i step forward you take that responsibility and the writer knew when my servant is taken i am stepping into his responsibility sasa nikwambia kitu kimoja usiwai kaka kanisani useme pastor anipiangi kazi ah kuna watu wale wana complain unajua siku hizi pastor ananga time na washirika alitembeleaki kama zamani ah nimepanda level nyingine that there are people that are taking that responsibility the church was two people that's why i could come to your house now and then but now i have a thousand members i cannot be able to come every day ni kweli toni ni kweli are you are you getting something ninapo pandishwa kiwango kingine walio nyuma yangu wanaingia mahali nilipo nikipanda zaidi wanaingia mahali nilipo ikiwa nilikuwa ninafanya door to door witnessing Wengine wakishaingia mahali nilikuwa wanaanza kufanya door to door witnessing because that is how you begin to receive the impartation pole pole look for an empty place and fill it There are so many responsibilities iko katika ibada that can help you receive the impartation You can even say mimi nitakuwa nikiamka asubuhi ninaenda kanisani ninaombe ibada for 30 minutes I'll commit myself kila siku saa 12 Nitaenda kanisani niombe for that minutes kuombea tu ibada. Mwingine aseme mimi na mimi kazi yangu ni kuhakikisha vitambaa vimeoshwa. Na mimi nitaamka asubuhi nikuja niweke vyombo. Na mimi nitaamka asubuhi nikuja nipange viti. Na mimi nitahakikisha 
watu wakiingia pale kwa mrango ninawasalimia na ninawapanga because even those days i used to do the ushering ninakuja ninawasalimia watu wakiingia kwa mrango tena nakimbia kwa madhabahu na kuja natukua microphone naanza kuwapanga mahali watakaa because there was no one to do that but today i have people that can do that i have people that have stepped on that empty responsibility and that is what eraja did eraja's pursuit was if you see me go then you will receive when i go to that other level take responsibility where i was bona sifiwe number 3 it was eraja's the third factor was eraja's passion sema passion He said my father my father He didn't call him my father my father because he knew he was going but it was passion ni kitu ambacho kilitoka ndani yake he was connected you cannot address a stranger a father it is only a son who can address a father as a father Ukiona na mtoto wako kwa barabara anatembea na nasama, anakutana na kila mwanaume na muita dadi dadi utamchuna. Ha? Eh? Ama ileta shida kwa ndoa. The explain kwa nini yule kile kimoto kilikuwa pale kina masikio na kai hivi mtoto alimuita dadi. Na pengine mtoto masikio yake hii. <laughs> The explain. The explain. <laughs> kwa sababu sio kila mtoto anaita anakutana na muita But the writer said my father my father two things he craved for a relationship until the end he didn't address him as a father because he was going peter but because they have worked together he had received the impartation of the son so when the writer was about to he addressed him as the father because of the relationship ambazo walikuwa nazo and you know many people They don't pursue relationship to the end. The relationship becomes so good when you are getting something from the next person, when you are benefiting on that relationship. But Raija, if you read the story of Raija, Kareb and Raisha, Raisha are Raija are discouraged Raija from the word go. Kama ni leo hii ni ku discourage hivyo hii kanisa itakuwa na mtu. Pita imagine una unafanya kazi yote na kuambia hiyo yote ulikuwa unafanya hapo ni pusi unakuja kanisani unapanga biti ya reja na mwambia hiyo kitu ulifanya hiyo hiyo ulifanya upuzi hata ungefanya hivyo so he, he discouraged him from the word go but eraja eraja was there patiently because he knew there was something that he was to receive there was a passion he was driven by a passion and you mana me don't take what you kuja kanisani for granted ha huh? na washukuru kwa sababu ya kuja i'm so happy because you came because that is a passion hakuna mtu niliita asubuhi ni kweli lakini kwa sababu mlipenda mnapenda hii kanisa na mnapenda mahubiri yangu na mnanipenda ndio maana mlikuja katika ibada so i don't take your coming as for granted it is an honor to me ha? na hiyo imetosha hata usipo ni heshima na jia nyingine kuja katika ibada umeni heshima nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu hiyo sanaona eraisha was looking for a relationship eraisha but not for the staff He was craving for relationship until the end. That's why he said, "My father, my father." Huh? The chariots of Israel and its horses. He recognized him as the battalion. He was not just addressing him as the prophet, but he was addressing him as the battalion, as the as the the watchman of Israel, as the king of Israel, as the prophet of Israel. How many people recognize their spiritual father as their prophet? That you can come to me and I speak a word over your life and it will come to pass. Ani maana Paulo akasema kitu ambacho kilikuwa cha dhamana sana. Akasema we may have so many instructors. We may have so many mentors. But we only have one father. It is only a father who can bless. Mentor atakwambia he this is the way to follow. But a mentor is like a, it's like a, it's like a, a billboard. Ukienda pale kwa barabara upate billboard inaonyesha Sozo Ministry ni upande huu na Aru. Si inakuonyesha it is it is it is instructing you when the heavy but that billboard will never reach the stage ni kweli 
The instructors will tell you if you do this and do this and do that, it will bring a benefit to your life. But they will, they will just be with you until that level. But it is only the Father who can bless you. It is only the Father who can walk with you. Ni Baba tu, anaya neza tembea na kila mahali ambapo watu watu wamekuacha. And Elisha recognized Elijah as the prophet. He recognized him as the chariots of Israel and his horses. You can be around people who doesn't who doesn't recognize you. You can be around the 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 kitu ambacho ni chadamana sana na kosa kusaidia. One day uh, my brother Oscar was telling me kwa kule kwa ushago kuna dhahabu. Ni kweli Oscar? Chini kuna dhahabu. Lakini I believe kuna mwalia dhahabu lakini wajui chini yao ni dhahabu. Wakati nilikuwa Southern Sudan hawakuwa na tabua dhahabu walikuwa na they were paying time and offering with gold. Zinaletwa kwa madhabahu hawajui dhamana ya gold because kila mtu ako nazo na kuwa ni kama mchanga na 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 na, 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 na minerals ambazo pengine upeane upewe ngombe. Kwa hivyo hazina dhamana kwao. Na kama nakuja kanisani hana sadaka naleta dhahabu. Because they don't know the value. Lakini kichukua ni ilete na gimpatin mahali nitakupeleka ukanunue pete ya harusi. Akipelekea na gimpatin anapewa pesa. Kwa maana na gimpatin anaelewa dhamana ya dhahabu. And you can be around people who does who doesn't know and understand who you are. Kuna sehemu ya kikuyu inasemaga emenya kana gayari ili ya yakwa. Ngombe kikufa ndio wanatambua hiyo ngombe ilikuwa na maziwa. Lakini wakati ilikuwa hai Ndio maana siku moja Yesu akauliza wanafunzi wake, "Who do people say I am?" Na kanzia na wewe, nyinyi mnafikiria ngani mimi ni nani? Wengine wakasema wewe ni Elia, wewe ni Yakobo. Lakini Petro akasema, "You are the son of God." Na akasema, "Hiyo sio kwa mawazo yako, lakini ni kwa roho wa Mungu. Na juu yako nitalijenga kanisa. Na hakuna lengo la kuzimu litakalo itingiza." That was declaration of a father to a son who identified and recognizes the father. You can only receive the impartation from the father if you identify and recognize who your father is. Ukini ukuwa familiarize na mimi, kuna vitu itakupita. Kini pataka tu kwa barabara nambia pasi, situwe neparo ni baie mutura. Ama maindi. Pasi. The very day you become familiar with the grace that covers your life, your flow na katika. Eraisha had all reason ya kuzoe Erija. Kumana Erija alikuwa na mudiscourage. Baka anajua naenda na kita mwambia baki hapa kwanza ni nakuja. And ilikuwa na vision ya kuambia wewe mzahai umechoka bwana this is our time you need to go so that we can take over but the bible says he recognized him the passion he had for him he said my father my father the the, the chariot of israel and its horsemen he didn't just recognize him as the father but he recognized him as the man of the authority as the prophet as the man who had the mandate and the power and the grace to do ex extraordinary and when Elijah had those things he had no reason but to let the blessing through number five number four Elijah's preference Elijah's preference the bible says he took his clothes and told them alitoa mavazi yake akairarua you know if there are people peter like now Nina retire kwenda ministry. Na pengine katika fununu inasema Peter is taking over from me. Ah Peter ataanza sasa kuweka strategy. Aanze kusema sasa hii church inalaliwa na digital. Past alikuwa old school, now it's our time. Na kuanzia leo kama una suit usirudi kuingia kwa church. Kama hujavaa hivi lazima sasa tutakuwa tukikaa hivi because this is our time. Elijah Elijah could have done that because Elijah was a lord man. But the Bible says when Elijah was taken the first thing he did he 
took his clothes and turned them. In other words, he cast aside his identity. Hakusama ni mimi, but he, he took over what was a righteous and put it in action. Huh? He cast away his identity. Hakusama ha. Sasa leo nyinyi mtajua nyinyi the prophet of the the, the sons of prophet ni mlikuwa mnani mnani haki. Sasa mtajua there is a new key there is a new prophet in town. He never do that. But the Bible says he cast his identity. In other word, he he stepped to where Elijah was. I am stepping from who I am to Elijah. I am casting away what I have and take over from my father. I am taking away what I know and do what my father used to do. And he got ready for something greater than what he had. Because his garment was just an ordinary garment of a servant. Peter, get this well. Mabasi aliyokuwa mevaa it was a garment of a servant. And now he's about to take the mentorship. So he had to take away the garment of servanthood. Huh? And get into the office of a prophet. Number 6, number 5. Erisha's the second the se- the fifth The fifth factor is a righteous a righteous promotion, same a promotion. The Bible says he took the mantle of a righteous. In other words, he received the the transfer from a righteous. He stepped into a righteous office. Yes, I have learned from him, but from today I am no longer me. But I'm stepping into the office of a raja. Number 6. A raja's power. Sema power. Sema power. Sema leo napokea kitu. Natoka hapa nikiwa na nguvu. When he was crossing over into the river, the Bible says he said Where is the Lord of Elijah? Where is God of Elijah? Akopi Mungu Elijah. In other words, he connected to the source power of Elijah. Anijishikanisha na nguvu ambazo zilikuwa kwa Elijah. I want you to note this. He didn't say where is God of heaven. But he said, where is God of Elijah? In other words he connected himself to the power of Elijah. He did what he saw Elijah doing. And I want to tell you this morning learn to do the repeat of what you see your father do until you receive yours. Sema I will learn to do what I see my father do until I receive what is mine. When they cross over to the river Jordan before they cross over they were with Elijah and the Bible says he saw Elijah dropping the mantle into the river Jordan and the river Jordan opened and the Bible says when he received the mantle from Elijah the first thing he did when he came to the river Jordan he did the same as he saw his father doing he took the same mantle and dropped it into the river Jordan na nje kapatikana and the Bible says he was able to tap the power that was in the life of a righteous there are some kuna mambo mengine unaipokea by repeating doing what other people do na ndio maana Yesu akasema i only do what i see my father na Yesu alipochukua nafunzi wake akamwambia nifuateni ni wafanye kuwa wavuvi wa zamaki 
na walipotoka Yesu walipopaa mbinguni the bible says walipokuwa wakiona vile Yesu alivyokuwa akifanya wakaanza kufanya the same na maandiko yanasema in the day of pentecost roho wa Mungu aliposhuka juu yao wakajazwa na roho na nguvu maandiko yanasema wale waliokuwa kipita njiani wakaangalia wakasema angalia wale watu wanakaa wanafanya kama Kristo na hapo ndipo jina Christian ilitoka maana Christian zikuwa na maanisha like Christ they were doing like Christ because they were doing as the father do and the righteous power the first thing he was able to do he was able to call the power of a raja ha kusema now this is the new disposition i may i cannot continue operating with the old disposition the old power but i need to introduce a new thing but the bible says he call upon the power of his father the power that was operating in a raja and the bible says when he called that power the river jordan and finally sema finally nimemaliza a righteous proof a righteous proof and he said the re- the spirit of a raja rests on me when he cross over to the other side the same people that were mocking him mandiko anasema they looked at a raja and there was a proof upon him wakasema mwangaliani nguvu zilizokuwa na raja ziko juu yake maana there is a proof he has done wonders and miracle we saw his father crossing over the river children and here comes the son doing the same miracle mujiza uliokuwa wa mwisho kwa raja ukafanyika kuwa mujiza wa kwanza wa raja and i've come to declare to somebody napo malizia whatever au mahali patakuwa my peak let it be your beginning ninakumbuka nilipokuwa nikianza ibada tulikuwa tuna struggle sometimes we could we could raranja eh huh? mshirika anakuja kukwambia pastor niombe nyumba inafungwa na hata yangu imefungwa inafungwa niombe ninalala njaa na hakwangu hakuna chakula i have come to declare the same an- the anointing zile vita ambazo nilipitia when i was coming when i was raising when i was starting a ministry mtakapokuwa mkianza huduma ninatangaza kusiwe na hata mmoja wenu atapitia hali ya mateso na aibu nilizopitia because where will be my peak i come to declare and prophesy let there be your beginning mahali ambapo litafikia kana kwamba nimeachieve zaidi katika maisha ninatangaza asubuhi ya leo wacha ikawe ndio mwanzo wako wa nitamaliza huduma nikiwa nimeinuliwa kiwango fulani wacha ukaanze huduma ukiwa umeinuliwa nilianza huduma nikiwa hata siwezi kuafford kununua viatu ninatangaza utakapokuwa ukinunukianza huduma you will not only be able to buy your own shoe but you be able to drive your own car because the battles of my time have conquered them and i declare to you may you overcome those battles The spirit of Elijah was upon Elijah, Elisha. And God was with Elijah as he was with Elijah. Nimekuja kutangaza asubuhi ya leo. Vita nilivyopigana vya huduma kusiwe na hata mmoja wenu atapigana na hizo vita. Mahali niliyopitia na humiliation na aibu nilizopitia katika huduma ninatangaza kusiwa na mmoja wangu atapitia katika hizo hali lakini natangaza hali nitakayofikishwa furaha ikawe ndio mwanzo wa kila mmoja wenu katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninatangaza asubuhi ya leo hali niliyopitia ninapata hata tunapitia katika hali ngumu financially ninatangaza bwana akatuma watu katika huduma zenu watakao beba huduma na mizigo ya huduma watakao beba hali za huduma huduma yenu ikakatuma the destiny helpers of Ukali and come and carry your burden in the mighty name of Jesus you can stand up on your feet and lift up your hand before God this morning kile ambacho kilikuwa ndicho mwisho wa hichi maandiko yanasema ndicho kilikuwa mwanzo wa heria na hivyo ndivyo ninatangaza asubuhi ya leo chochote vita ulizopigana pengine katika familia yenu kuna vita wazazi walipigana kwa niaba yako 
ninasimama in the apostolic office na ninatangaza vita wazazi walipigana wengine watu walitembea shuleni bila viatu ukajinyima watoto wako wasome ninatangaza hizo vita unazopigana asubuhi ya leo kuziwe na hata mtoto wako mmoja atakazopigana hizo vita katika jina la Yesu Kristo wengine tunapitia hali ya mateso katika ndoa zetu